Hola estudiantes, hoy vamos a hablar sobre los sustantivos, nouns. We are going to talk about nouns. Now I know a lot of you have heard me mention masculine and feminine nouns in class, but um, I know you wanted a more complete explanation of that, so we're going to go over today how to tell the difference between those two and also how to make nouns plural. Vamos. So what is a noun? A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea, such as la abuela, a person, el cine, a place, el libro, a thing, or an idea, la educación. There are four types of nouns in Spanish. There are feminine nouns, which go with la, masculine nouns, which go with el, singular nouns which go with el and la and plural nouns which go with los and las. Now you know that if something is singular it means you have just one of them and if it's plural you have many of them but for feminine and masculine there's really no pattern um, to tell whether a noun will be masculine or feminine. Um, there is no way to tell whether a cup is a girl or a, bo a boy, but it's el vaso, which is masculine. Um, so here's how you tell. It's a grammar thing. How can you tell? Well, feminine nouns go with la, and they usually end in a, such as la puerta or la ventana. All nouns that end in ion are feminine such as la decoración, la religión, and la televisión. And finally, most nouns ending with Z or D are feminine. La ciudad, la libertad, y la actriz. Okay, so to go over that again, if it ends in A, ion, Z, o D, it's usually feminine. Feminine nouns go with la. It has nothing to do with whether a girl or a boy uses the noun. Everyone uses doors, but la puerta is feminine. Masculine nouns go with el, and they usually end in o, such as el cuaderno, el perro, o el bolígrafo. Also, if you see a noun that ends in E or a lot of other letters, um, they're often masculine nouns. Okay, so if it doesn't fit any of these other patterns, your best guess is to guess that it's a masculine noun, such as el pupitre, el estudiante, y el tigre. Those are all masculine nouns because they go with el. So if it ends with O, it's masculine, el. If it ends with A, it's feminine. It goes with la. Let's do some practice. Okay, oveja is a sheep. Do you think oveja is feminine or masculine? And should it go with el or la? Es la oveja. It ends with a, so it goes with la. La oveja is feminine. Let's try another. Vestido. Okay, vestido means a dress. Do you think vestido would be masculine or feminine? And would it go with el or la? Remember, think about your grammar rules. Don't think about who uses the object. See? El vestido is masculine. Okay, it ends with O, so it's masculine. El vestido. What about cortina, a curtain? Do you think it would be masculine or feminine? Si. Es femenina. La cortina. Ends with A, so it's la cortina. Feminine. 
How about estación? If you remembered that all nouns ending in ion are feminine, you should have gotten that la estación, the station, also the season, la estación is feminine. It goes with la. Otro. Pastel is a cake. Everyone likes cake, girls and boys. But is it masculine or feminine? Give me your best guess. Since we don't have a rule for nouns ending in L, your best guess is to say that it's masculine. El pastel. It is masculine. Um, like I said, if it ends in any other letter besides Z, D, A, or Ion, it's probably masculine. How about cuchillo? A knife. This one's pretty easy. El cuchillo ends with O, so it's masculine. El. El cuchillo. Now, pause the video here and complete sections 1 and 2 on your homework. It shouldn't take you very long if you've mastered the rule. If you need more help, go back and listen again. Or you can find resources online. I posted another link next to the video. Alright, section 3. How can I make a noun plural? So, to make a noun plural, if it ends with a vowel, such as a, e, i, o, or u, you just add an s and change el to los and la to las. El libro becomes los libros, the books. El tigre becomes los tigres, the tigers. La abuela becomes las abuelas, and la puerta becomes las puertas, the doors. Now, I know that in English we only have one way to say the, but in Spanish there are four, and the endings usually match the ending of the noun itself. You see that los ends with os, libros ends with os, okay? Las goes with abuelas, las goes with puertas, okay? It almost rhymes, if that helps you remember it. If the noun does not end in a vowel, if it ends in a consonant, you add es and change el to los and la to las. For example, la decoración becomes las decoraciones, la ciudad becomes las ciudades, and el hospital becomes los hospitales. Now try making this noun plural. We know la oveja is feminine. How would you say the sheep plural? Si, sí, las ovejas. Las ovejas are many sheep. How about el vestido? How would you say multiple dresses? Remember that el vestido is masculine, so we change el to los and add an s. Los vestidos. How about la cortina? Sí, las cortinas, the curtains. How about la estación, the season or the station? How would we talk about multiple of those? Since la estación does not end in a vowel, we have to add es, las estaciones, las estaciones. How about el pastel?
if we wanted to talk about many cakes, we would say los pasteles. Again, you add an ES because pastel does not end in a vowel. Los pasteles. And finally, el cuchillo. How would you make that plural? Si, sí, los cuchillos. This is the end of the video for today. Please complete section 3 of your homework, and if you have questions, come prepared to class tomorrow with those questions, and I'll answer them for you. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.